Hello Cancer! This is your November 2019 reading. Remember it will not resonate with all Cancer individuals, but I'm hoping to reach the majority of you. But this is for Cancer. Those born in the zodiac sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, the energies coming in, new energies, positive energies for Cancer. Energies that will help Cancer. Show them their path, Cancer. Full Celtic Cross, November 2019. See what the beginning energy is? Like I said, I'm hoping for a positive reading. I always hope for a positive reading, but if something, you know, goes amok or goes wrong in this spread, we will work through it, you know? Temperance in reverse. Someone's feeling unbalanced. Maybe they're working too hard on something. Maybe they feel like something's not working out, even though they try very diligently to get where they need to be. But it's all, you know, remaining balanced in what you're trying to do in life. And maybe you feel like you're having trouble keeping that or the people around you are. Current environment is the star in reverse. Some of you are losing hope. Some of you feel like there is no hope. And let's see what's crossing that. A very huge burden with the Ten of Wands. Under a, a, a tremendous strain, burden, something you're having trouble releasing. What is crowning you is messages. Maybe they're not coming in or maybe they're coming in abruptly, um, chaotically with the Eight of Wands. This also could have to do with travel. Maybe you're trying to travel and cannot. But it's going to be all kind of things. You realize that I will clarify these. I say this every time and it'll change the story up or give us more information. So stick with me. Foundation. This could be you, the King of Cups or another water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do not assign one zodiac sign to the court cards, but this is emotional feeling. Someone is feeling like something is out of control. Just because uh, you see a court card in reverse doesn't mean they're most, um, they're not, not necessarily always mean or nasty. Sometimes they're feeling ill. Sometimes something happened in their life. Sometimes they're suffering from grief, but it's all kind of reasons and that's why we clarify. In the past, trying to overcome heartbreak with the three swords in reverse. You are coming over it, but man, you lost hope probably in love or something that really stung your heart. In the very near future, you feel like you've been left out. You feel like someone left you out in the cold. You feel like you may not have enough with the five of pentacles. Now, this is the very near future. I'm thinking a lot of you are already feeling this. These are for people that are already gone through uh, something that they think is hopeless, something that broke their heart. And it could be for so many different reasons, but I gotta clarify. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe um, was a three of wands. Could be the universe stop looking for things coming in that aren't for you. You know, go for the um, things that are for you. And I will clarify to find out what more that could be saying to you as cancer. What is coming towards you or the outside environment was causing this. Someone did not work on a situation like they should have. Someone stopped working. Someone stopped working as hard as they should with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Or maybe they're working too hard. Your hopes and fears is a Hierophant in reverse. Maybe you're trying to get a hold of somebody to give you more advice with the Hierophant in reverse. Maybe you're having trouble getting help. Maybe you're having trouble getting help from society. Maybe some of you are dealing in a court situation. Maybe some of you had. Maybe some of you um, lost out on a relationship. And maybe you're just having nostalgia, you know, with Mercury and retrograde. Sometimes we go through that. We start thinking about the past issues and it makes us feel bad. In the very end, you do gain happiness with the sun. You gain some happiness and some enlightenment. And I will be giving you a three um, um, card, three pile, or three section um, card reading for love in the end of this. Just because, you know, a lot of people want it, even though I still got to do the main energy. We need to know the main energy that's going on. Love is okay, but real life is too, you know. Love is real. Don't get me wrong, but... Sometimes we got to go through this to get to the love section, you know. But right now you're feeling hopeless over a burden. You're carrying a heavy burden. Maybe you want to release it. Maybe someone wanted to release it from you. You know, these readings can flip. But we got the star card in reverse. And what's crossing it, like I said, the Ten of Wands. Why are you there? I need two cards for Cancer. That's why, they are, why that is there as a subject. They feel hopeless. Why is that there? Why are they hopeless? Why are they feeling this way? Two cards. The world. 
Ten of Pentacles. Hmm, they're feeling hopeless in something of a karmic situation. Maybe they wanted to end negativity and start something new, start something fresh. And maybe they were they're trying to overcall their um overcome they're trying to get to their overall stability with the Ten of Pentacles. They're wanting their finances to be on par. They want to regain their wealth or get wealth. You know, financial stability all the way. And they're feeling like the situation is hopeless, cancer is anyway, for the people around them. Now, what is crowning you or the goal? And I'm thinking this with crowning you is the eight of wands. It could be the goal. Maybe you, some of you stop talking to people, stop communicating, stop going places. But I think it's what's crowning you. I think this is what's happening around you, that people aren't communicating. They're not going anywhere. So the eight of wands in reverse, why are you there as the goal or what crowns cancer for November? You do gain some happiness, so you're just in a rut right now. Yeah, you're thinking about dropping something because you weren't getting wish fulfillment. You're going for wish fulfillment, but you feel like you may have to drop something because um, it wasn't coming in the way you expect it. The Nine of Cups is still there. There is still possibility of a wish to come through later on because I do see you getting some happiness. But at this time, you're thinking about dropping the situation, not even talking to anybody, maybe. Foundation, you got the King of Cups, it is in reverse. Like I said, this could be your energy, it could be another water sign. Or it could be someone, like I said, whose emotions are just really down right now. So, King of Cups in reverse, while you're there for Cancer as a foundation for November. Two cards, please. Wow, Deceptions. They're down because of the deceptions and the things they expected to come in that would bring in long-term stability did not. Something that they thought a new start would happen in some way. Maybe they were wanting this, a new thing with stability, but all they got was lies. Now in the past, you're, you're overcoming heartbreak. This has happened to you. It's already done. You've been dealing with it for a while because it's in reverse. And you're overcoming it. You will. So the Three of Swords in reverse, why are you there for Cancer in the past? Why are you there? Two cards, please, for Cancer in November. Yeah, you're up at night. Whatever broke your heart kept you up at night, sleepless nights worrying, nightmares, things of that nature. And you really had no choice in a situation with the two of wands in reverse. But something really messed you over. Something really broke your heart, like I said. In the very near future, you're going to feel like you really lost out. You feel like, will I have enough? Will I be able to survive in life? Will, I, will someone always abandon me? Will I always be left out in the cold? That's what you're going to be feeling. But it's not always um, ending that way with the Five of Pentacles. It's always what someone is feeling um, in, in, in life and stability. But it, it does go away. You know, that does go away. It doesn't stay that way. At least not in your case with the Sun card. So the Five of Pentacles in the upright in the very near future. For cancer, why are you there? I need two cards, please. So remember with the five of, uh, you, know, you feel like no one's offering you any love and you're really wanting to go forward with the Knight of Cups. You may be able to go forward, but right now or in the near future, you feel like maybe you won't be able to. But I do see you moving this way, in this direction with the Knight of Cups, what I always call the Good Omen card. I love this card. Because it always brings good things with it. It shows a very kind person that's willing to offer love, friendship, emotional situations where someone needs a shoulder to cry on. But they're all often bringing relief. But you feel like it's not going to come. But it, it, it is. It's going to come. Yeah, it's going to come. You're going to get something in. You're going to get something. But let's go with the advice from the universe is, or possible future outcome. I'm thinking it's advice from the universe because of the three of wands in reverse. In the ending, you're happy. So the advice from the universe is saying, don't look for things to come in that aren't worth it. Don't look for things that are just going to break your heart over again. Don't be waiting on this situation or person. The one that brings you, you know, your three of swords energy and keeps you up at night and lies to you, you know. And like I said, some of these times these cards can flip and some cancers probably have done this to somebody. But I'm reading this for cancer. So three of wands, two cards, please. Why are you there for cancer? In reverse, in November. 
We'll find out what the universe is trying to say to you. Yeah, stop fighting over, um, stop looking for this Ace of Wands that, that broke your heart. This passionate new beginning that happened. Don't remember the fighting. Put the fighting away and don't look for these things to come in. The, the things that didn't work out. Because happiness is coming. you got to go towards your happiness. And the only way you're going to get that is go for wish fulfillment and your happiness. You know, the sun is shining on you again in the end. But it's like you're, you're slowly coming out of it. You're remembering the past. You're remembering the hurt. You're remembering everything like that. But I do see the Knight of Cups there in the upright. And this person is, is strong enough to move on or go forward. I shouldn't say move on. Go forward. Now, the outside environment, someone stopped working on something. Maybe somebody's working too hard, but not necessarily. I need two cards to know. So, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse is the outside environment, or wood is coming towards Cancer. Why, why are you there in November? Two cards, please. If someone wants to come out of a trap feeling so they stop working on something, but they're still looking at you. They're still looking towards you, thinking, how can I deal with this situation? So, they're thinking towards you also. But they're, they're just not willing to work on it. They're thinking, should I work on this? But I think they're thinking that they should just stop something. Because they don't want to be tied to a situation anymore. They want to come untrapped. They want to come out of feeling like their hands are tied. I don't know who this person is to you. But they're still thinking towards you. They're still looking at you. Yeah, I'll show you. They're still looking at you. See, they're looking at you. They're looking at a situation that didn't work. They're looking at what could have went wrong. What could they have done differently in some ways. Now, your hopes and fears, you got the Hierophant in reverse. And I said what that's about. But a lot of times when I see the Hierophant, I see marriages. And especially in reverse, I see maybe a broken contract that was solid in society. That um, they went before like a preacher and um, they're the ones that or a justice of the peace, and they're the ones that consummated, or not consummated, but, you know, did the wedding that made it legal. But it's in reverse, so it kind of went haywire sometimes. That's the way I see it. But I need more cards to 100% tell you that's what it is about. But that is my feeling that has to do with a broken contract, whether jobs or relationships. I'm thinking more towards relationships because it really broke your heart. But it could be jobs, too, because I see you trying to work for the money, you know, trying to gain stability in some way. So the Hierophant in reverse. I need two cards for Cancer and the hopes and fears. Maybe you're fearing this broken situation that won't fix. Or maybe you're hoping towards it, you know. So the Hierophant in reverse. Why are you there for Cancer? Is the hopes and fears. Two cards, please. Then I'll give a love read. Well, i got to do the ending. Then we'll do, Yeah, it's over a love situation. And the high priest is in reverse. You're unsure what to do. And the people are unsure what to do around you. Um... This, this heartbreak is, 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 I can't say that it's fresh because you've, you've been dealing with it for a while, but now it has taken its toll on you to where it was such a burden you had to drop it because of deceptions. But in the end, like I said, you get the sun card, and the sun card is in the upright, and it's shining on you, Cancer. It is. It is shining on you. So the sun in the upright for Cancer. I need two cards. They regain happiness. How? Please tell us something. Instead of just saying, yeah, they gain happiness and blah, blah, blah. We need to know why. How. Two cards. The sun. Why are you there for cancer for November 2019? Can you see all these? Yeah, you're going to take a break. You may go on vacation. You're going to make a sound decision to do something. Maybe even take a break and go somewhere so you can be happy. Or you won't be working hard, as hard as something. Maybe a judgment situation will go in your favor. You may be walking away from negativity with the Eight of Cups, but I do see you regaining happiness. You do regain rest. You're not up at nights anymore at the very end. And then you may make a conscious decision to move forward, or um, it's in a way like karma goes in your favor where things start working out with the judgment. It could be, like I said, like maybe even the judgment with the Hierophant, maybe a teacher goes in your favor, and you get to rest again. You get to... Um, breathe a, a sigh of relief 
So things look up. So and this is for cancers that really went through the ringer and, you know, they were lied to. They thought they were going to have this special life with somebody or something. And it just went to went amok and it didn't come in the way they expected to. And they thought, oh, everything is hopeless. It's such a burden. I need to, I need to start over. I need to sit there and, you know, I want to start over. I want new stability. And I may have to drop something and go for something else more positive that may came, come in. Because right now I'm feeling like I don't have enough. You know, now I'm going to do a three card, three, three pile, three card love reading. And you can pick one that you feel is drawing you to the situation, you know, that you feel is talking to you, speaking to you, or maybe all three of them will. Sometimes they combine together. And it may attach to this reading or I may get an entirely different reading, but I need three card reading. Three, three card reading for Cancer. For November 2019, Sun, Moon, Rising for Cancer. I need the first three cards, please, for Cancer. Three cards, please. Second pile. I need three cards, please, for Cancer. Three cards, please, for Cancer. Oops. Always do that. Flip it back when I shouldn't. And I need three more cards for Cancer for Love, for a love reading for Cancer, for November 2019, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Three more cards, please. And you get to choose your card, choose your pile, I should say. Forgiving and learning is at the bottom. I'm going to start doing that, too. Forgiving and learning, as you release and heal the past, you experience love in your present moment. So it's forgiving and learning. So to be happy to forgive is to be happy also so it doesn't cause a burden forever for you so you're not it's not weighing you down so the first thing the first pile and I'm talking about this is for love I'm not necessarily talking about the person you're dealing with here I'm talking about future love it could be past love sometimes but the first card is passion you have a lot of passion cancer you got a lot of passion for somebody that you feel is true love, and you still have romantic feelings for. So whoever this is, this is a romance of a lifetime. It could be a future person. So look for someone you may have romantic feelings for. Not necessarily an ex. It could be, but don't leave it all to somebody in the past, because you may be leaving someone out that is for you in the future, just because you're... Um, stuck in something, but I see you being happy and taking a break. You do have romantic feelings for somebody. It is your true love, and they, you have a lot of passion for them, and they have a lot of passion for you, possibly. Second card reading. Remember, some of you may choose all three of these cards because they feel drawn to all of them, and sometimes they all relate, but not always. Finances and career. I've been getting that for a lot of people, and I do shuffle them, as you see. But it's finances and career. Some of you are looking towards that to develop more financial stability, like I saw in the early part of this reading. You're wanting things that will hold you up in life. And you want to enjoy yourself, a honeymoon type thing. Enjoy the bliss of a holiday time together. Maybe you'll meet somebody if you go out of town. You know, be happy. And you know what it says? I said some of you may go on holiday. You may go on holiday. Make a conscious decision to be um, happy. And whoever you're going to meet, keep an, eye, an open mind. Because your soul might may differ from your uh, your usual type and expectations. So you meet, might meet somebody if you... um. Save up your money because it has finances and career. And, you know, when you go on vacation, when you go somewhere to enjoy a, a, a bliss, you know, a vacation, you may meet somebody that may be your soulmate, but that may not be like your usual type, you know. So it's up to you. That's what the angel cards say. These are angel cards. Last reading. Mm. It says flirt. Go out there and flirt flirt with somebody stay optimistic about who you're going to attract or who you are attracted to positive thinking you know positive attitude and faith will bring you romance so when someone sees someone confident they really seem to be attracted to them or you you know it says it says to flirt with them so you can you know look more attractive to other people and you know the same for them you know you like uh, 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 someone who has a lot of um, 
uh, magnetism, you know, confidence. And then when you meet this person, you flirt, stay optimistic, don't get all down and, you know, thinking it's not going to work, and then express your love or let them express your love to them and don't, you know, shoot them out the door thinking they won't, you know, be there for you. So I do see Cancer being happy again. Maybe the Knight of Cups is Prince Charming. You know, sometimes, it, you know, there really is one. They're coming more rare, though. I'm not going to lie to you. But I see the Cancers that it is, this is resonating with is going to be happy in the end. I do see you taking a break, maybe going on vacation and making, having a decision. A decision will be, be made in your favor. Or, um... You make a good conscious choice to be happy. But I see you also, you know, it's always about deciding to go about and doing stuff and really meaning it, you know. And don't let this past stuff get, get negative with you because better things are coming. Sometimes it's a blessing that something didn't work and better things do come in. Do I get all this in here? I'm trying to get everything in. Oh, sorry about that. But this is a reading. Look for the positives. Look for the happiness in the end. If you go on vacation, you may meet the one, okay? Or if you just go out for the night, you know, where you take a break and get away from everything, you may meet somebody. Hey, you know, it couldn't hurt, you know? So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.